everybody, BK with Masada Tactical here with another video. I'm actually in Texas with Steven teaching our class this week. And as I'm spending time in this hotel, I figured this would be a good opportunity to discuss a little bit about how we clear a room or how we actually address a threshold. Now, a little caveat, this is going to be a very cursory discussion of the topic. Obviously, we can go very in-depth and some variables that will matter would be how wide is the door and by myself, uh, what the environment is like, what's the type of threat I'm dealing and what kind of weapon system I'm carrying. Today, we're going to talk at the very basic and what are some of the advantages of what we call a limited penetration or an A post, B post approach to a doorway. So here I am in my hotel room. Before we start, as always, if you're gonna train on your own, make sure your farm is clear. Okay, I'm in a hotel. I don't want any accidental or negligent discharge. So just so you guys can see nothing in this weapon, completely clear, allowing me to show you guys the skill in a safe manner. Today, we're gonna to address what we call a corner fed door, meaning there is a wall on one side in one direction. So I only have to be worried about what is in this case to my right. Obviously, I can see down the wall. I know there's nothing on my left, right, which makes things a little bit easier. We're going to deal with what we call a center fed door where I need to clear in both directions in a future video. As I'm moving towards the door, I'm going to worry about angles as much as I can. Obviously, right now I can see all the way down that wall and now I have a wall between me and whatever is to my right. So I have some protection between me and the threat. Obviously, this is a drywall, so it's not something I'm going to count on as cover, certainly concealment, but this is better than nothing. As I'm moving, I'm going to work the angles. I'm going to work as wide as I can using the environment to my advantage. Instead of me just stepping into what we call the fatal funnel, which puts me essentially in a fair fight and kind of defeats the purpose. I don't ever want to be in a fair fight. I always want to keep my advantage. I'm going to work around it, clearing with my head, my muzzle and upper torso before I actually move in. At this point, I can see half the wall in front of me. I'm going to adjust my stance and lean a little bit more. I can see all the way down to the couch and we're going to keep working in this manner until I am clearing everything. Key to notice here, my foot never penetrates that threshold. I'm never stepping actually into the room. My very last pick, addressing what we call the 180 degree, right? That line that goes from one corner to the next, right? The only thing that is exposed is my muzzle, my head, and nothing else. If I have to engage a threat right now, I have more of my body covered and I have a tactical advantage in relation to my threat. I'm gonna demonstrate now, pay attention to the moment where my muzzle and my head is presented and where's the rest of my body, ideally behind this threshold, behind the post of the doorway. At this point, I can see the camera, meaning I can see my threat. My muzzle is clearing that threshold I can see all of my would-be opponent and most of my body is behind cover. One of the key components and arguably the most important component of that movement that allows me to present the least amount of my body is what is commonly referred to as the Israeli lean. The Israeli lean is all about the footwork. I want to be in a perfect stance to if I have to engage and the movement is actually done with my upper torso, clearing whatever angle I need to clear. Once I gain some real estate in that room that I'm trying to clear, I'm gonna maintain that real estate. I am not going back. I am not nodding back and forth. Things can change in an instant. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna close my stance, adjust my body, open again, and then clear some more. So I am clearing by moving my upper body, but at all times maintaining a solid shooting platform in the event I have to actually engage my threat. The movement is a combination of somewhat of a torso rotation and a side bend put together. Again, this is obviously a very cursory type of video and explanation of the tactics, so I don't bore you with too much details. We're gonna try to expand on it and add other environmental and tactical variables in future videos. Hopefully you like the video, hopefully it makes sense to you and assist you, and God forbid you ever have to use this. As always, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments, send us messages, on social media or direct emails subscribe to our channel follow up our other channels and as always watch your six